We are in our 27th state in the van. I don't even think we officially announced it when we drove in yesterday. We were so tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nevada is our 27th state. And it was kind of fun to mark one off the list because it's been forever since we've done that. Seriously, it's been a while. Last night we slept in the parking lot of a casino, the Nugget here in Pahrump. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Pahrump, Nevada, but they are famous for one specific thing, and it is uh, legal prostitution. So today we're going to go to somewhere Justin has always, always begged me to go. It's true. We're going to a brothel, you guys. Um... The goal here, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, let's get our GPS running and head down to a brothel. Maybe get some lunch at Sherry's. Ooh, we hear there's a great lunch there, so. I'm dead serious, recommended by at least two different people. We're Justin and Jesse, and this is Floyd's in the Damn Van. Okay, so we're about to do the tour of the chicken ranch, and apparently we can't take photos during the tour, but they did give us this little packet of goodies, um, and we got a beer, and one of the girls is going to give us a tour, so pretty exciting. Do you need green glass? moments later. We're here at the resort of Sherry's Ranch. It's definitely the largest in this area and we're going to find out more because yeah, it might be the largest in the world, but it's funny because it's right beside of the chicken ranch. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we came to a park 
and we came to a, a skate park and Justin was going to skateboard. Well, there's a bunch of little kids here and they were all fighting each other, like kind of having fun, right? Well, then, oh my God, they got into a real fight and like some people showed up from around the, the I don't even know. It was a real fight and they said they got jumped. It was just like kids fighting them, teenagers. Then the cops showed up. Like they called the cops forever ago and they just got here, by the way. But then we see this guy pop out with a big, a big, um, Media what do you call it? Media camera? Okay. Well, yeah, sometimes a camera. Held camera and then it's shit says media. And it says <laughs> media on the back. We're like, why are they filming? It's a police interaction. Why does the police guy got a media guy? And I was like, oh my God, it's a freaking TV show. It's like, it's like live PD. I'm freaking out way too much, but I've never seen live PD in real life. And we're in Nye County, and I swear to God, I've heard them before. Okay, there you are. It's been a few days since we visited the two brothels there in Pahrump. And I think we have a clear winner. Yeah, blatant. The chicken ranch was very nice. They offered a free tour. We got to see everything. Except for... You know. Yeah. Except for that. Yeah. But the girls um, live there, usually like temporarily. Um, so they have rooms there that I guess they, they stay in, plus they entertain guests in. But there's also a bungalow... Um, that you can rent out. I think there's multiple bungalows that you can rent out. Um, and that's what we got to tour and actually take photos of. But um, inside of their living quarters, we didn't get to film. But it was kind of boring. I don't think anyone wants to see that anyways. I couldn't really tell why we were in it. But it's like three trailers, single wide trailers lined up together with like an addition built onto it. And I had read at one time they wanted everything to be in trailers because in case the laws change or they need to get out of town, they could just haul the trailers. That makes sense. Um, but now it's more of a, I guess, a stable thing. So they've just built onto them. Mm -hmm. um, the chicken ranch was great, though. We got shirts. They've got memorabilia for you to buy. The drinks were great. And everyone was really nice. We even got to see a nice young man meeting a lady. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Yeah, he was a real stand-up guy. If you're ever in Pahrump and you have any desires or needs to be met, reach out to Zara at Chicken Ranch. This is not a paid ad. No, it's not. No, uh-uh. After we left the Chicken Ranch, we went to Sherry's, which is literally right next door. Like, there's a field in between, and you can almost see the roofs of each other. Mm -hmm. That's how close they are. Sherry's felt different. Yeah, it was awkward. You walk in and we were there just to get a drink and then we heard they had amazing lunch. So we were like, all right, screw it, we'll get lunch. The food was, it tasted great. Yeah. It was good, but it wrecked my gut. I think we even told the chef like it was so good because mm -hmm. it tasted great. Um, the girls there, well, number one, there were rules. You couldn't even have your phone out. So our phones couldn't be out. We couldn't take pictures of anything. We couldn't show you guys anything there. So You can kind of identify, well, I think you can tell who's working and who's not. Oh, you could tell because they're the ones with their phones out. Exactly. <laughs> they were like all on their phones or on their laptops in the corner. It just felt like we were interrupting their like study time for how to be mean. Yeah. Just... Not college, just how to be mean. The bartender was fine, but not, like, overly nice or anything. No one offered us a tour. Um, so we ate, and then we left. No souvenirs. And it's dark and dingy in there. Super dark and dingy. Yeah. Clear winner here, Chicken Ranch. That's who I'm going to recommend for you guys to go check out next. Hands down. Hands down, for it's, sure. And, just because we love Texas, it was, at one point, the best little whorehouse in Texas. Yeah, they're from LaGrange, Texas. If you guys have heard the song LaGrange by ZZ Top, they actually talk about that, uh, the chicken ranch right there in the, the beginning the of opening. the song. opening, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Look it up. It's worth it. Yep, it's worth the goog. Check them out and uh, let us know what you think. And if you've been to one of them, let us know in the comments. That's our honest review on Perump's brothels if you're wondering what it cost 
it's all negotiable. They don't have set prices, so you have to negotiate it. But the hint we got was that it's probably like $500 an hour. A negotiable 500 I guess. Hmm. So, we don't have the real answer, but there's an idea on that. If you've got $500, you could have a good time at the chicken ranch. Maybe even like 450 But if you got any other questions about it that we didn't answer, uh, leave it in the comments and we'll answer back. Well, guys, we will check in with y'all again soon. We've got a lot of footage to bring to you because there's a lot going on. So check back, subscribe, um, because we're going to be putting out videos all the time, pretty much. That's right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. If you haven't subscribed to the Floyds, what are you doing with your life? Honestly. Honestly.